Hi, I'm Casey. I'm Towing Wild Oats on Instagram. And this is my 2019 Ford Transit Van Pam, where I live and work full time. Let me show you around. in the sliding door is the kitchen. So right here I have the sliding door here just to separate the driver space from the living space. It's really nice after a long drive just to have the two separate. Uh, you can see I can't walk straight through here. I have to duck and we decided on this because um, this creates a lot of extra storage up here. It extends the shelf that exists within the Ford Transits and I can store so much up here so ducking to get into the driver's seat is so worth it when you have this much storage. Over here, walk into the kitchen. I really like to cook, so I have an oven and a two burner stove, and this does everything I need it to. It's been really great. And then over here, we have the sink. I have a cutting board insert here just to create a little more counter space when I'm not using the sink, and then just pop it out, and use the sink as normal. It has started to rain while we do this, so you get the van life ambiance when it rains. I honestly kind of like it, it's kind of peaceful. But we have what I think is my favorite part of the van here. So this is a two foot by two foot countertop, which is really great for cooking or whatever other task I have going on. It's a lot of space to work on. And then if I flip up this counter here and lock it in place, it turns into a shower. I have a curtain here that hooks up into the ceiling. So I have, you know, full coverage from the water. It's really nice to have, I use Planet Fitness like a lot of other van life folks do. Um, but if there's not one around, it's nice to have this as an option. And obviously if you're in, you know, a shorter van like I am, I'm in the 148 inch wheelbase transit. I have to use this also as storage. It can't just stand alone as a shower, but it's a really good spot for all of my dog supplies. And then all of my shower supplies live in here too. Moving a little bit further back, that's Odie, the oats to towing wild oats. Um, we have the bench seats back here and they also double as storage. So the fridge lives under one on the right side. And then on the left side is where my composting toilet lives and all my bathroom supplies. And that vents out the bottom of the van. All right, then we come up here and we have a lot of our storage in the van. So these cabinets are really handy. I keep all my food up here, toiletries and just extra supplies are back here. And then over here is another favorite. So when I realized I really only needed a full bed in here, it's just me and it fits my friends too if I have a friend over. Um, we realized that there would be extra space for a closet and it's only about a foot deep, but it stores all of my clothes, which is amazing. I got rid of some before I moved into the van, but most of it's in here, including winter gear and summer gear and everything in between. So this has been awesome. And then my bed, it looks a little short and that's because it is a third of it folds away. So during the day we have this bench space and then at night we pull out a little insert. I'll show you what it looks like, but it pulls out over the benches and then we have a full size bed in the transits. They're a little bit narrow to do a bed east west. Um, and I'm six feet tall, so I was not trying to scrunch. So we did it north south and did it this way with the fold away just so it's not taking up basically the entire van. It works really well. Over by Odie, we have the bunk window, which is important because I do have a max air fan in the ceiling, which is really crucial for keeping the sky cool. We have been traveling through the summer and gone to some warmer areas and having that has kept it cool even when it's you know gotten really hot, like 90 degrees outside. I do also have a Wabasto heater that lives under the passenger seat and runs off of gasoline. So if we do need a little extra help keeping it warm in here in the winter months, that's a nice thing to lean back on. For electrical, I have two solar panels up on the roof and they power two 100 amp hour lithium batteries. And that gives us all the power we ever need. I work in here, I charge my laptop and I've never really had an issue. So those have been really great. And that's Pam. 
there's not a lot I would change in here. I think eventually I may rework one of the bench seats and get a bigger fridge. But other than that, I've been living and working out of here full time for four months and it's been awesome. Getting to travel the country and see new things all the time has been really great and a really good fit for me and for Odie. So you can follow along and come hang out with us at, at Towing Wild Oats on Instagram. Please come say hi. It's been really fun making friends with other folks on the road through Instagram and also just chatting with other people interested in van life. So hope you had fun touring around Pam.